Panasonic A1H is an excellent camera for shooting videos. However, there are some issues. For one, it's a large beefy camera. And two, it's not a fully dedicated camera for filmmaking, thus missing some critical features of a cinema camera. Yet the video quality of the S1H is undoubtedly high-end in terms of color reproduction and sharpness. But how about we could get a dedicated video camera with all the cinematic goodness of the S1H? Well, Panasonic has finally heard the voice of cinema camera lovers and brought before us the Panasonic BS1H. And in this video, we will discuss all the significant features and caveats of this camera. So with that being said, let's start the video. The new Panasonic BS1H features a 24.2 megapixel full frame CMOS sensor, which is the same as the S1H. Now, for a video centric camera, the resolution is just fine. Anything more than that would increase the sensor readout time, which would lead to hideous rolling shutter effects. Additionally, the sensor comes with an optical low pass filter, which is helpful to reduce more and aliasing effects. On top of that, this also features dual native ISO. It means you'll get crisp looking videos even in higher ISO numbers as if you are shooting in the base ISO. This feature has also been taken from the S1H. So we expect a similar kind of performance where the ISO 4000 seems a lot like the ISO 640, which is really handy when shooting in low light situations. As for the video, the BS1H can shoot 6K videos at 24 frames per second. Apart from that, you can also shoot 5.9K 30 frames per second. Both 6K and 5.9K can be recorded at 420 10-bit internally. For C4K or 4K videos, you can go up to 60 frames per second with the same color depth, but you'll get a cropped size of super 35mm. You can also use 4K for anamorphic videos. In addition to that, if you want more color depth, you can switch to C4K or 4K at 30fps for 422 10-bit. Besides, this camera is capable of retaining 14 stops of dynamic range while shooting in vlog. There's also no limit for video recording and no overheating issue. The memory storage only limits you. Speaking of memory options, this camera features dual SD card slots, and both support UHS-2 cards. And because of the hot swapping, you can carry on your videos for as long as you want. So the video specs and sensor are precisely the same as we have seen in the S1H. So how is the BS1H different from S1H? Well, there are quite a few aspects that differentiate this camera from the S1H. First is the form factor. As we have already said, the S1H is quite a bulky camera to carry around. But on the other hand, the BS1H is a handy video recording box. Much like the BGH1, it weighs only 585 grams. Apart from that, S1H was a hybrid camera and lacked many cinema-centric features, which are now available in the BS1H. For example, this camera includes an SDI port that will let you stream your videos to an external recorder, monitor, or other devices. However, you're limited to 1080p video output over SDI. If you want to record 4K videos externally, you can do it using the HDMI port. And the good news is, you can simultaneously use SDI and HDMI. Maybe one for monitoring the scene, and the other one for recording the video. In addition, there's also a gen lock and timecode, which helps sync when you're shooting in a multi-camera environment. Moreover, an Ethernet port has also been included in the BS1H which allows you to use up to 12 cameras simultaneously. Apart from that, there are about 11 one x 4 inch 20 mounts all over the body, so that you can mount cages, rigs, and other accessories to this camera. Besides, 3.5mm headphone and mic ports are there to ease your shooting experience. However, some features are missing in the BS1H. The first one that you will notice at first glance is the lack of a display or screen. Now, this is understandable, as most production houses might want to use an external monitor while shooting but there's no stabilization. So clearly, this is not a camera to roam around and shoot like the S1H, as there is no display and no stabilization. Instead, it is more suitable for production setup. So that was all about the new Panasonic BS1H. Overall, this is more like a cinema version of the S1H in the body of BGH1. Though this is also an upgraded version of the BGH1, Panasonic wants us to use both cameras in a multi-camera production setup, and that's why this camera has been designed to work in conjunction with other cinema cameras. Though Panasonic has already announced the camera, we might not get it in our hands before November. And with a price tag of $3,500, would you like to buy the new Panasonic BS1H? Let us know in the comment section.